Sometimes I wonder what is left Could it be a blessing or a curse If love is given, why so much hurt Why everything go wrong Love Live, I have yeah. to be there. Can you know that red in these days makes me nervous? Good, especially it reminds me of a very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Mm. Um. So, what are you waiting for? Look at who's talking, man. You, chronic bachelor. Me, yeah. Doctor Ken. You think the kettle can call the pot black? Don't let this year pass you by, Dr. Bachelor. <laughs> or, you know, but please hook up on a beautiful lady. It makes sense to me. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that to you, you know. Uh, uh, you must make sure that your wedding bell rings this year. No more, no less. <laughs> There's no going back for it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> Come to think of it, on a serious note, I need to get yeah. married. Yes. For a good woman, though. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If I find that woman this minute, I'm gonna make him my best man and take her to the altar the next minute. Really? Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what? This topic has to wait for another day. I got some patients to take care of. No hmm? problem. Dreaming. See that guy? That's the fiance. Huh? I gotta go now. about Ken. Listen man, I want that girl, okay? All I'm asking you is a contact address. That's what I'm asking for. 
I mean, why are you hiding her contact address from me? Is that how to treat a friend? Richard, I can't give you her address. It is against the ethics of the medical profession to divulge any information about a patient without the patient's consent. Huh. Even to a closest friend? Not even to myself! I am not asking anything extraordinary. All right? It's a goddamn contact address for God's sake. Listen, I want to make her my wifey. Do you understand? Oh, well, how well do you know her? I'm saying it again. I don't know her much. She's just a youth copper here in Lagos. I only treated Edwin of an ailment last month. Then he introduced a silver to me. As the girl he wants to marry. That's all. I don't know this pestering. Ken. Don't make it a problem for yourself, okay? Don't let me start looking at you as a stumbling block. Now look here, Richard. We've got to get things straight. I don't have anything against your wanting any woman. All I'm saying is that we've got to be reasonable in treating issues. Well, um, thanks for your services, Dr. Ken. You've been nothing but a disappointment to me up till now. But, um, not to worry. I'll find it myself. Good luck, Dad. All right. So you can leave. Yes, Edwin. Malaria can be very tricky and dangerous. So, this time don't let your girl go into self-medication. It's alright, Doctor. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your assistance. I'm only doing what I'm paid for. Yes, see there. Self-medication is very dangerous. You see, sudden disease Causing organisms have developed resistance to certain drugs. You may be taking drugs without much improvement. That is why it is necessary to conduct a lab test in every disease condition. Hmm? Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. It's noted. You're welcome. Thank you so much, too. I guess we have to run along now. It's always my pleasure having the couples out. <laughs> so it's easy. Oh. back immediately. So why are you taking all these clothes? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I didn't even tell you, but... What? See, Sonny called mm -hmm. to inform me that that aptitude test for Gold Bank will be coming up next weekend. And guess what, honey? What? I intend to stay back. Instead of going to and fro. Now, honey, guess what? What? My office also gave me one week casual leave. So everything seems to be falling in place. I don't want to leave one chance. I know, honey. Don't worry, you'll get through, okay? Baby, I don't have a choice. I've been blessed, I've been touched. I love just so much. They keep fighting me, but I'm not gonna give up. Oh. They, you know who sang that song? Who? Bunchy Banthin. Okay. And that's the me. fact. I mean, your doggedness can stop tripping. <laughs> Honestly. Baby. Well, let's do that one. Baby, if you're by my side, mm -hmm. your encouragement, mm -hmm. your understanding, mm -hmm. baby, it's only a quote. <laughs> I love you. Mm. Don't worry, honey, I'll miss you. 
miss you too, okay? But don't worry, I'll be there with you in spirit. I'll be praying for you again. Thank you so much. Give me that look. <laughs> you know what? what? Cast all you will have no choice but to take, care. take this man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm tired of this epileptic job. Mindy, don't worry, you don't just give up, okay? Before I go, <clears throat> Honey, I am not taking that money. No. Do you need this money more than I do. You are the one traveling. I'll just manage my allowance. Honey, take it. I have enough for me. Come on, please. Or should I need that? No, don't need that. <laughs> take this. Go to the salon. Make your hair. And also do what do you call it? Pedicure, pedicure. and manicure. I'm mean, very keep looking good for me, okay? Mm? okay? Thank you so much. Come on, honey, let's get going. You miss your mm. face. Huh? There I go. Just take it easy. Oh. Button up your shirt. I don't want all those girls to keep looking. <laughs> Back up, yeah. Come on. Let's go. I'm not a free chancer like any one of those guys, you know. I'm a friend. Hey, just hang on. Um, listen, I met you at the hospital, you know. I mean, you took ill. You had a high fever. Um, some guy brought you in. Actually, he carried you in. And, you know, it was, yeah, Dr. Kane's hospital. He's a friend. I don't remember seeing any guy like you. Oh, how would you remember? You were almost fainting, actually. You know, we were outside talking, you know. And I'm listening. You bounced back. You look great. Yeah, I'm fine. I just recovered. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad. Well, um, my name's Richard. <laughs> we already know your name. Sylvia, right? Oh, uh, pleased to meet you, Richard. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, listen, what are you doing here? Are you waiting for somebody? I'm waiting for a cab. Cab? Oh, boy. I didn't see no cabs here. Wait no more, baby. Come with me, man. I'll give you a ride home. Um, don't worry. I'll get a taxi here. Don't worry. I didn't see no taxi. We've been standing here. None has gone by yet. Listen, there are two things I like doing you know one is I like to take care of business and then the second one is I love to take care of rangers like you period come on let me give you a ride home all right I'm not gonna hurt you all right come on Martin, baby you know how it Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Nothing. Um, is this where you live? Yeah. Nice place. Thank you. So, um, well, here, my card, okay? Don't forget, call me. Call me Hi. anytime. Um, um, well, since you didn't want to come with me on a lunch date. Here, I got something for you. Here. Um, no thanks. The ride is enough. I don't understand. I don't think so. Come on. No thanks. Besides, angels don't take money. Oh, 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 oh
That's my girl. I mean, you learn fast, you know. And you're also fun to be with. Well, and you are a character too. Oh, come on, everybody, yes. It makes the world go round and it makes love go round and everything, you know. Richard, um, I'll see you later. Bye. Here, here, you're forgetting something. that boy I saw you with outside now oh Richard he's just a friend is that so are you sure he's just a friend is anything the matter Sylvia yes jumping from Peter to Paul to Emmanuel is not in our lineage my elder sister that gave birth to you did not live that kind of life and myself I'm not like that since my husband left the country six months ago, have you seen me with any other man? Have you seen me with any other man? But Auntie, why are you talking like this? Why? Because I saw the way you two were giggling out there, oh. like those in honeymoon. Listen and listen good. I do not want to see you with any other man apart from Edwin. He made his intentions clear and you accepted. Do I make myself clear? But Auntie, I have not said that I am dumping Edwin or that I am having an affair with another guy. Edwin and I are getting married immediately after my youth service. And for now, nothing has changed the program. Well, you have to be careful the way you associate with all these people to avoid creating wrong impressions. You are welcome. <laughs> this late. How are you doing? Come, let's go talk about it. Bye. Um, no, my auntie's around. You told me something about your zodiac sign and I did some computing after that and found out that it's your birthday today, right? Several times or as you're out for dinner, dates and lunch dates and you always time me down. Why? I'm just gonna eat you. Why? Well, I I don't know. I can't go out with you. It's late. Okay, well, you know it's not fair, you know that. What about breakfast tomorrow? 
That's if only it to make me less unfair. Alright, oh, 50 percent. <laughs> Breakfast it is then. Oh, great. Yeah. Alright. Okay.
Why the scream then? It, it, it's nothing. I just had a bad dream. I think you need to go and see the doctor. Maybe this malaria is coming back again. There is no malaria, I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. Mr. Richard. Yeah, what's on him? Is he in the office? Yeah. Okay, Sylvia. Hello, sir. Sylvia is here to see you. No, um, I want us to stay here. I wouldn't even take much of your time. Um, are you, come on in. That's more privacy in here. No, don't worry. I wouldn't stay long. No, don't worry. Oh, well, I want us to stay here. Um, okay, our secretary, please. Do me Bugging you, baby. Well, um, Richard, I've come to give you bad news. I can't have it. Why? Actually, I realize that I don't really need it. So that's why I came to give it back to you. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Well, you have a way of balancing up with me, you know. Well, I'm packaging more surprises for you. You're here giving me a shot of your own surprise package. Uh, I'm impressed. You know such things give me the kicks. I'm sorry, please. Um, before I forget, what can I offer you? I've got wine, champagne, juice, uh, water. Um, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Actually, I came to let you know that I've decided to oh you have finally made it you call it quits with Edwin now listen we can get married when when you want no Richard I've come to call it quits with you I don't want to have anything to do with you again actually there's nothing between us whatever it is you want from me it won't work please listen um you know, I wouldn't stop asking. I'm not going to give up. Then you better stop asking. Look, Richard, I want you to stay away from me. It would do us more good. Really. <laughs> Listen, Sylvia. Why are you deflecting? You're not married to Edwin yet. Let me tell you something. You're the only woman that can give me the desired happiness and holy matrimony. You can be happier with me, man. Look, Richard, if you really want me to be happy, then oblige me what I have requested for. Oh, Richard, please just stay away from me, okay? I have to leave now. So
in the city. Destruction of the poor is his poverty. Oh. Destruction of your soul is vanity. Hey, hey. Oh, do you hear? I and I, I want to rule my destiny. I and I, I really want to rule my destiny. Every call, 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 destiny. I'm a man from where you come from. Boy, destiny, I wanna move my destiny. I didn't remember you. Mm. I didn't Baby, you. <laughs> you know what? What? I am now a qualified staff of Cast Oil. God has done it for us. I it's can't wonderful. believe it. It is wonderful. Oh God. Do you know what? What? In one month time. This honorable man will be a staff of cast oil. Yeah. And in six months time, you'll be through with the youth service and join me. And then the next thing is, gidim, 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 gidim. Do you know what that is? No, tell me. Gidim, 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 gidim. Honey, tell me now, I don't know. Say yeah, the wedding bells. Ah! Say I do. And you're going to have all my babies. <laughs> Baby! Wonderful. Tell me, baby. How do you want it? How do we celebrate? Um, well, I... No, tell me. Do we go out or do you want to prepare one of those your favorite dishes? Well, um, all of the above. All of the above? Mm-hmm. Like it's less than from here. Okay. Um, then you, you have this. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. What do you know how to do it in London? Oh, have you ever been to London? Well... Some I'll be with <laughs> They go like, sure. So they go, mm. <laughs> Do you know what this means now? Mm, it means bye bye to poverty. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we start with throwing out everything that has to do with poverty in this house. How do you start with How do you? How do you? <laughs> that is spoiling my mood. What do you want? Well, come on, honey. You're more angel, man. Why are you so cold to me? Like, this few days you've been so cold. What's going on? Hey, look, Richard. I have told you to stay away from me. Leave me alone. Huh? Look, I don't want to insult you, honestly. Just leave me alone, all right? I am married. Listen. Baby, who's that? Honey, that guy I told you about. He called again. He's even calling me again. Talk to him Give yourself. Me Hello? Listen, could you just pass the phone on to Sylvia? Do you realize whom you're talking to? You're talking to Sylvia's husband. Well, let me tell you something. The Sylvia I know is not yet married, okay? So you're definitely mad. Big time. You're mad. And listen, let me tell you something. Don't you ever call this line again. Do you hear me? Or else you're going to see my face. Hello? 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 What nonsense? I'm sorry, alright? I told this guy to stop calling my line. Baby, just borrow his line from your phone, okay? Let me, let me just do it. Doc, I understand this Richard of a guy is a friend, right? Yes, he is. Please, Doc, one here. Tell him to desist from disturbing my wife. Honestly, Doc, let me tell you something. 
if he continues the way he's going, he's going to see the other side of me. And believe me, Doc, you won't like it. Just warn him. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what is wrong with Richard. In those days in school, he was not very much into women. So, what has he got to do with my wife? But he has this attitude of going for whatever he wants by all means. He was quite brilliant, though. Led to one in economies. Let me even ask, what precisely does he do for a living? Business. He came back from America about four months ago, joined the father's business, and uh, right now he's running part of it. And of course, with a lot of money to throw around. Doc, I don't care how much he has to throw around. I don't give a hoot. Just tell him to stay clear of my wife. It's okay. I will talk to him. By the way, congrats on your success. How you come with? <laughs> yeah, no, the dog. Man. <laughs> no, we'll find her. We'll find her. Yeah, that reminds me. I'll be needing a comprehensive medical test. Mm -hmm. Is it the company I told you about demanded that all the lucky candidates should submit in their medical report? So that means I'm going to have to go through all the medical report. You know how to go about it. And it, it should also include HIV test. We are ready when you are. <laughs> that is it. Thank you, Doctor. I should get my way. All right, so soon. Right. Yeah, so please, okay. tell Richard to stay away from my wife. I've been talking to him. And I've been talking. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take care. Bye. Richard. Behavior has suddenly been funny these two days. What's the problem? Dad, I don't feel like talking. I'm sorry. Why, Richard? Talk to us. What is it? Always been something cold and sinister about the young man. His lifestyle is worrisome. He's so unpredictable, at times very queer. I wish that Christopher was my firstborn. Darling, please don't start. Don't start! There is nothing to start, woman. We know it's been there. You and I know that. Christopher has been more open and free-minded. Are you going to bring Christopher back this minute and make him your first ball? Please, let's go and stop my legs. Thought we wanted to marry. 
But when you came back, you said you didn't want to marry her anymore. Well and good. In as much as we, your parents, wanted to settle down as a young man, we are not breeding it down on you to do so. Now, you said you've seen someone else, but the lady doesn't want to marry you. So why don't you forget about her? After all, there are many fish in the ocean. Why die over a girl who doesn't want you for heaven's sake? Why, Richard? Dad. I love Sylvia, Dad. No one has ever created such an impression on my life like she did. Don't you understand? I want her, huh? I want her, Dad. Now listen real good. If you want her, it's not a matter of paying bad lip service. Go after her and win her love, win her heart. That way you can reassure everybody. And let me tell you this. Never you in your widest imagination marry a girl who does not love you for what you are. Yes, Richard. Never you make that mistake. It can be very, very fatal. <sighs> Mom. Mm -hmm. Sylvia is not like that. Sylvia is unique, Mom. Unique! Don't you get it? Listen, oh God. Especially when I also know the source of a problem. You do? Yep. Then the problem is half solved. That's said, You know what I mean? Then. Sylvia's ownership can also be contestable. It is contestable, to be precise. Because no one can lay a strong claim on her. Remember, she's not yet married. How many times will I tell you that Edwin and Sylvia are working towards marriage? They are working towards marriage. But they are not yet married! That girl said she doesn't want you. Why don't you let the poor fellows be? Why are you so obstinate? Eh? Ken, I want Sylvia for my happiness. You get it? My soul craves for her. But you don't want to understand. Too bad. I'm not ready to. <laughs> um, I heard that Edwin is undergoing a uh, comprehensive medical test in your hospital. And, uh... Don't ask me why or how I got to know about it. Because when I want something, I work hard towards it. So, what's your business with the test? Oh, well. The HIV test must be positive. Beg your pardon? Edwin must be made to carry the HIV virus. What? Have you gone crazy, Richard? How could you think of such a wicked act? That's the only way out, Ken! Because if Edwin has the HIV virus, Sylvia will automatically leave him and look for somebody healthy. 
Well, and you know that that girl, the person, is me. Because she loves me, Ken. No bloodshed, no stress. Hmm? Do you understand the nomit of what you're saying? Oh, listen, man. I am making you a proposal for five million naira. You are heartless. You are offering me five million naira to kill a soul? Oh, come on. <laughs> Ken, I know how much you need that money. Then think of how happy you be with five million naira, man. I'll give you two million naira cash if I go into the car and come back. And then the rest three million you get after the deal pulls through. All right? I didn't ask you to kill nobody, man. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you. But it's unimaginable how dastardly you can be, Richard. I don't care. Whatever you want to say, you can say it, Ken. But I've given you a beautiful proposal, and I won't warn you. If any ear or ears hears about what we've just discussed in this place, the police will know what happened to Ibn Abakol four years ago. Goodness me. Ibn Abakol. Richard. You are a devil's incarnate! I only know what I want and how to get it. And you get two days. All right, don't forget. Even if those parents are still looking for her killer. I've got all the evidence, you know. Thank you. See you later. She lost so much blood. She couldn't make it. She didn't even have to rest there. You're supposed to be a medical student, man. Richard, I can do what we are wrong. Simple DNC. Come on, come on, How do I handle this? Richard will make good his threats. If I refuse to play along. I know him. He's extremely heartless. It won't cost him anything to hand me over to the police. Then, if I play along and declare it with HIV positive, he will go through a devastating psychological trauma. Oh my God. That beast, Richard! I wish I never came across him in this world. I wish I never knew him. I wish he never knew about it being above. Be 
priest. <laughs> Listen, duck. Are we game or you want me to go to the police? Huh? Doc, Doc. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah, thank you. Right here. Is everything ready now? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, various uh, histological and uh, microbiological uh, tests were carried out. And, um, there is us. Okay. Yeah, the radiograph uh, x ray will soon uh, be ready. Good. So, what is the news generally? Um, not too bad. Yeah, um, blood pressure is uh, a bit high. But then, there's a major problem. What do you mean, major problem? Um, you see, I, I want you to zero your mind and brush up some courage. Talk to me, talk to me, I'm a man. It, you see, traces of the human immunodeficiency virus were found in your blood. No. Talk. What are you saying? That I'm HIV positive? I'm sorry, the. That is the situation now. You are HIV positive. It's impossible. How? That is the situation. Declared him HIV positive. Shh. 
Was that not what Shh. you wanted me to do? What are you talking about? Do you realize that that guy can go for a confirmatory test somewhere else in another hospital? Hey, I want you to bring him back to your hospital and confine him there. Do you understand? Inject him with something and make him fall sick, you know? Or else, all this will be a flop. I don't care. I've done my part. I don't shout, man. How do I explain the whole madness? If my medical director finds out. Who the hell is your medical director when I'm behind you? Let me tell you, we've set the ball rolling. And all we need to do is to see that ball roll to the end and we control it. I want you to bring that guy back. And monitor him closely, that's all. That way he'll not know if he truly has HIV or not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hey, you've got five million naira at stake in this deal. So what? If it flops, ciao, you're going to jail, man. Later, man. Stay crying. Don't cry yourself to death, okay? That your HIV positive does not mean you are dying to death. Yeah? Moreover, who knows if there was a mistake when that test was being conducted? In fact, that was why I suggested to save you that you go for another round of tests somewhere else. Yeah? And that will serve as a confirmatory test. Ready, let's go to the military hospital for another test. Hurry up, we don't have the whole day here. Please. give us a good news or have you come to tell us that the test is no more positive? Look to talk to us because we are devastated. I'm even confused. Calm down, say there. Huh? Eddie, just relax your mind. I actually come to tell you guys that I want to rerun the test for certain professional reasons. Eddie, just relax your mind. All hope is not lost yet. I am relaxed though. Or does it look like I have another choice? Eh? 
If you want to rerun the test, let me ask you a question, Doctor. What difference would it make? Eddie, please, you never can tell. Eh? Let's go so that you'll be screened again. It's a pain. Doctor, I've been trying to convince him since morning. I don't know. I was about taking them to another hospital when you came. No, 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 madam. There's no need to go to another hospital. Eh? Let's have it in the same hospital. Eh? No. Siva will be screened also. And that will serve as a confirmatory test. Um, I feel that test is better run in another hospital. That's why I'm taking them to a military hospital now. Let's go. Let's go to the military hospital. Yes. Okay, madam. You can try another hospital later. Let me have a second look at him. Huh? Eddie, if there should be another test, I think it should be in another hospital. Let's go to the military hospital first. Okay, Edwin, let's go with him. Let's go. Congratulations, Sylvia. You are free from the virus. The result is negative. So, um, Doctor, what of Eddie? Mm -hmm. You've got five million naira at stake in this deal. So what? If it flops, ciao, you going to jail, man. Friends, um, the result is still positive. Um, so, Doctor, um, what do you advise us to do? Well, I will have to keep him here on admission. They monitor him and give him some medication for some time before I let him go home. Help! God. All these years of suffering in the university, all the struggle for a better life, and yet the devil chose his track just when a real flight. Yeah, 
think I'd rather go home and prepare for my death. No, Edwin, you can't go home now. Honey, let's go. I will have to monitor you and give you medication that will keep you healthy for some time. It is since it has not developed to full blown eggs, I have to monitor you. Look, I don't need any medication. What do I need the medication for? It is necessary, Edwin. You said I'm HIV positive. What is HIV? HIV leads to AIDS, and AIDS leads to death. So what is the medication for? Let me go home and die. I just go home and... Honey, <laughs> honey! <laughs> so far. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. Hmm? I just feel like walking up to him in that ward and tell him that he's not HIV positive. <laughs> You're invariably saying that you want to go to jail. Well, cut out this jail thing of yours. <laughs> Very well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just kidding. No one's gonna go to jail for now, at least. Playing with someone's life. God. I just can't imagine myself in this mess. Hey, come on. Can. Edwin is not gonna die. Listen. As soon as Sylvia leaves him, we're going to get married. And then we move to the United States. Thereafter, you can go to him and tell him that he's free of the virus. That's all. All right? Do you know that guy is already hypertensive? Do you? Please. Ken. Or Dr. Ken. All you need to do is take good care of him. That's the reason why you're a doctor. Hmm? Well. If you need some money, I'll give you. But I don't want any other person to visit him in that word except Sylvia. Come on. <coughs> Cheer up, man. Cheer up. <laughs> That's my guy, man. Dr. Kid! Yeah? Before you know it, all this drama will be over. We'll be free. Hmm? It's gonna be alright. It's all good. The Dr. Kid. Like the brandy? Expensive brandy. I always want to be expensive. Hmm? Don't forget the five million. <laughs> you could be expensive too. <laughs> you see I'm giving you your chance now? You be rich and happy. Tell me, what are you gonna buy for yourself? Hmm? A Jeep like mine? <laughs>
Sylvia, you don't have to do this. You have to be strong for him. If he wakes up and sees you like this, his condition will be worsening. Doctor, how can I get hold of myself? I just feel like the whole world has come crashing on me. So how could Eddie be HIV positive? How? Why would God allow the devil to inflict him with such a deadly disease? Why? Doctor, he's the only man I've ever loved in my life. And to make matters worse, he's not hypertensive. Doctor, tell me if you were in my shoes, what would you do? Tell me how would you feel? Honestly, <laughs> I understand, Savior. <laughs> but he needs you to be strong at this point. He needs your encouragement more than ever before. He needs things that will make him think less of his condition. Give him a reason. Eh? For want to hold on to life. Now, let's go to my office and talk more. Hmm? Please, I don't know what to do. You'll be alright. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. You feel better today, right? Does it make any difference? Hmm. There is someone I'm going to pass on. You know that. Hmm. Eddie, where's your willpower? He's strong. Eddie, I have a feeling that you're going to break the chains and get through somehow. Don't we share the same feelings anymore? Of course we do. Have you forgotten your friend, Jude? Of course we Breaking chains can't be coming. You know I don't do that all the time. I must get through, no matter what I've gone. Destiny! Destiny. Honey. My destiny says that I'm going to die soon. I'm a dying man, but I still love you. You still love me? Of course, yes, I do. I still love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Honey. Yes. Now, I'm HIV positive. And you're not. Will you still marry me even in this my condition? Honey. Honey, I still love you, okay? I know you love me, but will you, will you marry me in this condition? Okay, okay, let's not talk. Don't worry, I'll give you time to think about it, okay? There's something I want you to do. Hmm? I love you and I will continue to love you. Even in my grave. I'll always love you too. I'll never forget you. Even when I die, I will always be your guardian angel. Stop
What do I tell Eddie? What answers do I give him? God's faith has played a fast one on us. The door opened and just closed almost immediately. Edwin is HIV positive. God, I can believe this. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. But I still love him. I still love this guy. Oh. you're feeling, you know? Sorry about the tragedy that's befalling you. Sylvia, are you listening to me? Thank you very much, Richard. But please leave. I want to be left alone. Oh, come on, baby. You, you can't be all by yourself this time. Look, you need people around you, people who cherish you, you know, people like me. I'm going through that pain and that sorrow that has filled you up. Listen, but there's one thing I must confess to you, baby, that gives me joy in this life. For now. Even in sorrow, baby, you are beautiful. Richard, I said you should leave this place. I was so screaming. Okay, I leave, but don't let it weigh down on you, okay? I leave. If you know you cherish me, just go. But don't forget, baby. Find somewhere in your heart, please, to record what I'm just about to say. Richard! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're here. Thank God you're here. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. Just calm down. Just calm down. Oh, calm down. Jesus. Can you believe it? I know this HIV positive. Just tell me where do I stand from? God. Oh, God, please. It's okay. Oh, God. Oh 
Eight? So it is true. You have eight. That's what it said. So those useless, shameless Lagos girls have given you eight. Reward after all I went through to train you in school. I do it. You are my only eye. Just one eye. You are my brother and my sister and my husband. Yet you allow those Lagos harlots to finish you like this. I do it. Why? Why did you do this? Don't talk like that. I mean, you know, you know me well. You know I don't womanize. That was then, when you were still my son. Oh. And I used to warn you about this Lagos harlot. You don't need to cry anymore. I'll be going home. They don't need to cry over spilled milk. Let me be going home to wait for your thoughts. Like I'm talking. Oh, oh, Who is this? What are you doing here? Have you people not killed him? Mommy, no. Mama, what's the problem? You're asking me what's the problem? You gave him AIDS, you and your group, didn't you? Oh, Mama. Mama! Now! Get out of this place. Get out before I wound you! Get out! Mommy! I said get out! Oh! Please! Get out! Mommy, no! I said get out of this place! Please! Please, come back! Mommy! Mommy! Oh! Mommy, no! Sylvia! Where is she? Where is she? You, I'm, going, I'm going to kill you. Let me see you around this hospital. You will see what I'm going to do to you. You will see. I'm going to kill you within a minute. If you come here again to look for my son, you get the meds. I'm going to kill you. She wants to kill my son. I suffered too much for my son. to stop. Eh? What? This is idiotic. I can't take this anymore from anybody. No. Me, Dr. K, to be subjected to this level of degradation, this level of, of mundane idiocity. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. No. This is the highest level of immutability. I can't take this. No, it is not appropriate. I'm going to see to that. I'm going to see to that. It cannot happen. Dr. Ken. What? No. No, no, no. What is wrong with this system? Eh? What, what is society? Eh? What is society? No, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to let this off my neck. I'm out of this. I saw a man of this! Richard, I'm 
dare to tell you that I'm backing off. What? This is just to inform you. The moment I get back to that hospital, I'm discharging me. You can't discharge anybody yet! This is as good as done. I just come to inform you. This stupid obsession of yours is becoming intolerable. No! It is a conviction that I am in love with a lady called Sylvia. And nothing that Trinity won't be complete except for she is there to be my wife. You are never being obsessed before in your life because you've never been in love. My obsession means conviction and we have been in love with Sylvia. Do you understand that? That is negative conviction. Look, there are several ways you can channel this your wits and energy instead of this your wide geese chase. Look here, Richard. Get Sylvia off your memory and set it ring free. Period. Shut up and listen to me. Nothing is complete without Sylvia. Not even the Trinity. Do you get what I mean? I don't know anything about your Trinity and I don't care about your Trinity. Let me tell you one thing. If I get back to that hospital, I'm telling that ring that he, he is free of the virus. And that is all. And I will equally tell the police that you're a murderer extraordinaire. And you're going to jail, bumhead. Look like a vulture from here. You'll probably be dead the next time. the virus. She's HIV negative. So, Edwin couldn't have uh, gotten the virus from her. Besides, it's not only through sexual intercourse that uh, one could contact the AIDS. Which other ways, doctor? Um, there are several other means. HIV can be transferred whenever the blood comes in contact with that of the carriers. It can also be contacted whenever people are sharing unsterilized syringe, needle, the barber's clippers, even pedicure and manicure. It cannot be contacted by mere body contact with the carrier. And your son's case has not developed to as proper. How do you mean, Doctor? A brain is what is called a carrier hmm. which means he has the AIDS virus in him but has not started disturbing him you see the virus first of all develops slowly in the person's body and then begins to destroy the immune system of the said person the moment the immune system is completely devastated the person's 
natural ability to resist or fight diseases is totally gone. And at that stage, you discover that such a person catches any disease in the air. And when that happens, any medication administered on such individual can never work. Why? Because the immune system of the person is destroyed. You see, when it gets to that stage, you will now start talking about full-blown AIDS. And their son's case has not got into that. And you should understand that this could take 5, 10, or even 15 years. Hmm. But Edwin's case has not gotten to that stage. What is he doing on admission? Madam, the hypertension he developed for obvious reasons had not subsided. Hence, he has continued to stay in the hospital. But I can assure you, as soon as the blood pressure is brought down, we will definitely discharge him. What at the end is going to die of it, doctor? Um, it could be managed. You see, um, things like this, um, you know. The news is all over the village that my son has AIDS. I know he will soon die. You are only trying to calm me down. Doctor, please let me go and wait for his cops. Let me go. I have suffered enough in this world in vain. Let me go. Let me go and wait for his cops. Let me go. Let me go. Please, madam. Please, please. Richard, you see what you have gotten everyone into. I swear you will pay for this. Baby girl, you are too slow about this. How could you still be undecided about what to do with Edwin? With all the embarrassment from his mother, Bola, I love Edwin, and I can't just abandon him just like that. I can't. Love a dying man? Someone who will soon die of AIDS? Come on, spare me that. Love my foot. Bola, I owe him that. He needs me, especially in this trial time of his. Like with any other person in his condition. They need our love and care. I can't believe you. I can't believe you're still talking like this. Sylvia, listen up. A stitch in time that says saves none. If you don't dissociate yourself from Edwin now, time shall come when you'll be treated like an outcast. Yes, because everyone would think you've also been contaminated. Bola, why are you talking as if you're an idiot? Huh? That I go close to Edwin or stay with him that doesn't mean I'll be infected. The virus can only be transferred if his blood comes in contact with my own. Oh, please. God, I'm not... I can't believe this. Sylvia, for God's sake, run for your life. Leave Edwin alone and go on with your own life. He will soon die. Besides, his mother has pointed an accusing finger at you. See? Flee for your life before it becomes too late. Run!
are you today? How was it going to be? I'm just waiting to go. I'm tired of leaving. Honey, you're not helping yourself like this. You're thinking too much. Baby, do I have any option? My mother has practically abandoned me. You told him one left. I mean, if you ask me, I'm not even sure of you anymore. Honey, look, that is why I am here with you. I will always be with you. I will still love you. I will still marry you, even at the point of death. You will? Yeah. Oh. Mm. I'm so glad to hear this one. At least, with this assurance, I can wait a little longer. Honey, I love you. I love you too. I'm so sorry for what my mother did to you. Please forgive her. Honey, don't worry. It's okay. I understand the way she feels. Such a piece of news is hard to be in. Right? Oh. Destiny. Why do I have to go like this? Why do I have to tell you? It's so hard. Honey, stop it. I've told you to stop this. Honey, you know you're hypertensive. And if you continue like this, you won't recover quickly enough to be discharged. And look, the most important thing is that I am here with you. Alright? Thank you. It's okay. Can you stop please? I brought some food to me. Would you like my food? Honey, is there any Oh, I'm dying. Take Whatever it is, it doesn't work. There's no need to eat. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Honey, Richard, leave me alone. Christ, you're adding to my problems already. I swear to God, man. I'd never do that, baby girl. I'm a solution to your life, man. Please, sweet love and care and stuff like that. I don't care. There are thousand and one ladies out there wanting to be cared for. Why not divert your care to them for all I care? Let me be. Jeez. But I let you. here because <clears throat> I want you to know that I am lonely and unfulfilled without Sylvia in my life you know well you 
you might say that the beautiful ones are yet unborn, but um, that's not what I want. And Sylvia's the only woman that can give me my heart's desire forever. Uh, yes, I really understand you. You see, a man was once felt like that for me some time ago. But unfortunately, our, our dreams could not be actualized because uh, he died. Since then, I haven't seen anyone that I would say I love. So, I really do understand your feelings about Sylvia. Yeah. I'm sorry about Edwin's death though, you know. But we all know we have our experiences or not. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, here's 50 grand, 50,000 hour. I take it. I want you to make sure Sylvia gets married to me. Um. Listen, I'll give you another 100,000 when it's finished. Alright. Uh, isn't there another way to go about this? I mean... The plan is simple, baby. I'm sure it's gonna work. If it pulls through, you get more money, okay? You can leave now. My dear Silva, take her to. I was at the hospital the day Edwin's mother embarrassed you. I felt so sorry for you. And I said to myself, oh my God, if only you knew that Edwin is not worth dying for. I mean, what is the meaning of all this rubbish you're talking about? What is the meaning of all this? My dear, Edwin is only paying for his wickedness to me. Edwin put me in a family way last year and denied the pregnancy only because of one alert who just came back from Europe. Well, I met him somewhere four months ago and he threatened to get me arrested if I get 10 meters near him again. No, but excuse Le me. Excuse me. Just calm down. I'm not true yet. Just calm down. I felt so dehumanized, but little did I know that nature had something in stock for him. Excuse me, whatever you're called. What has all this rubbish you've just said got to hey do with me? Not, my dear. The lady in question just died last month. She discovered she was HIV positive and she committed suicide. So, now that you know how your darling Edwin got the virus, would you stop killing yourself for him? I mean, you should be lucky. You. Hey, stop! Just yes. calm down. No, get out. Calm down. Yes, I will. Just go. Calm down. Go. I will. Just go. I will. But I'm happy you now know that the man you thought is a saint is nothing but a pretender. Get. I will. If you whatever you call yourself, leave this place this minute and just go. Bye. Jesus, what rubbish. <clears throat> um, Sylvia, it's okay, see, we can work something out, okay? Maybe she's just making it up. It's okay, just take a deep breath, relax, okay? Just, just calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? What's happening to you? 
Don't honey me, you bloody chit. Honey, what's going on? So, Edwin, so you've been criminally defending yourself all this while? Huh? When you know very well where you got the AIDS virus from. Edwin, who is Efe? And who was the woman that came back from Europe? What are you talking about? Which Efe? Which, which woman? Edwin, I want answers to those questions. And I will have nothing to do with you if you don't tell me the truth. And I mean it. Truth? Yes, truth. Which truth? Oh, oh, you don't know. So you don't know the girl you impregnated last day? And the woman that came back from Europe that gave you the AIDS virus? You don't know them? Honey, are you joking about Hey, listen. You are the most deceitful human being I have ever seen in my entire life. Me? Yes, you. I trusted you, Edwin, with my whole life. Yet you have the mind to go behind me to cheat on me. How dare you, Edwin? Me? Right? Edwin. Anyway, Edwin, it is over between us. Over. You can carry on with your life for all I care. Let me pick up the pieces of my own life. Thank you very much. Sylvia! Honey, wait! Honey, honey! Sylvia. What is wrong with you? Hmm? Why have you not eaten for two days now? Do you want to start yourself to death? My sister, please oh. help me and ask her. I've been talking to her since morning. Sylvia, please don't do this to yourself. Don't just do this to yourself. It's extremely painful. So painful to know that the guy you trusted so much was cheating on you. Clean on your intelligence. But that's not my problem now. I'm thinking of my future. My main problem is what if traces of the virus is found in my blood? God forbid! Don't even think in that direction. You have done this test two times. So it can't be. Please, don't. Edwin. Edwin, I hate you. I hate you with all the passion in me. Hey! What's Hi. up, man? <laughs> hey, baby, what's going on? Hey, listen, man. How come you're all seated as if there's a funeral here, man? Who are you, young man? And what can we do for you? Sylvia? You didn't tell her? Well, my name is Richard. I'm Sylvie's friend. Who's your friend? Point of correction. I'm no friend of yours. <laughs> it worked. Your question made a talk at last, man. That's good. I'd love to see you talk again, baby. What's up? And Richard, um, we're in the middle of a private discussion here. So if you don't mind, that's the door. Oh. No doll for me today, baby. You're not gonna ask me to leave? Is that what you wanna do? Sorry, baby, I'm not ready to do so. <laughs> <laughs> My God, two of a kind. That's good. <laughs> Come on. What's up with you, man? Stop being moody. For your mind. To relax. Alright? You know what? She has not eaten for two days. That is what we are discussing here. Sylvia, what? Uh, I don't believe this. Is it true? Um, let's see. Uh, we really have to do something about it fast or she's going to break down. Please, you people have to help and do something fast. All right, all right, but all right, get ready. <coughs> Baby, listen to me, please. 
the whole world hasn't come crashing down on you, okay? There's a whole new life out there, man. Come on, let's go leave it up. All right? I could take you to a restaurant there or seafront, dude. Now we can have some seafood by the ocean view, you know what I mean? We have lobsters, fish, sea urchins, if you want, squeeds, champagne and caviar. I just want to spoil you a bit here. You, you come with me? Yeah, yeah. Baby, but yeah. come on, baby. Baby, get dressed, okay? I'll be in the car waiting. It's nice talking to you. All right, bye. All right. All right, bye. Come on, let's go. Hmm? Be a drag. Hey, Bola, I didn't find what you just said funny. Save your place. Forget it. You need to lighten up, okay? See, look at you. Look at you. You're finished. Don't be a spoil, spoil spot. Hmm? Come on. Bye, Bola, please, please. Yes, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood. Oh, my life. Sylvia has finally abandoned me. She has totally forgotten about me. She actually made that pronouncement. I don't know who fed her those lies. I don't know who is after me. Oh. Savior, Savior, my love. I wish you remembered how much you kept my hope alive. But why should anybody be against me? Why should anybody lie against me? What is the person after? Only God knows. Daddy, only you can. Tell me all these things. Who exactly is that guy, Richard? Um. The little I know about him is that he was Dr. Ken's schoolmate. He came back from America some months back. And um, he's into business with his father here. That's all. How long have you known him for? Well, um, not quite long. He said he saw me the day Edwin brought me to the hospital. And since then, he's been bothering me that he wants to get married to me. And I've been turning him down because of Edwin. Do you like him? Like, well, he's quite interesting, you know, but I don't know if I like him enough to get married to him. I'm not too sure. <sighs> Sophia, you know, I had always encouraged you and Edwin. He was so humble and determined. But today, I don't know what is happening anymore. This whole issue of HIV and then this your discovery about him having been cheating on you. Although, that is subject to investigation. What is being able? Then, I don't know. Sylvia. Have you totally erased Edwin off your heart? I mean, uh, supposing he becomes well, miraculously, he becomes free from AIDS virus, will you still marry him? Um, honestly, Auntie, I'm done with Edwin for good. Okay, and um, in that case, uh, I support the idea of you moving on with your life. If um, that guy, Richard, is good enough, then go ahead and marry him. 
Thank you, aunt. But I must confess, there is something about that guy I don't quite like. Though I can't pinpoint what that thing is. Sylvia, please look very well before you leave. It's okay, Auntie. Everything is under control. You know, I, I'm just bothered. I don't want you to make mistakes. <laughs> Thing. How many times am I going to tell you to stop killing yourself softly, huh? Why are you brooding all the time? Why? Richard, I'm scared. It's like the full picture of everything I've toyed with has developed in my mind. And it keeps replaying itself every now and then. Look, Richard. I might be HIV positive. Oh, oh, come on. You're not. Listen, after all the tests, it's there to prove everything. You're not. Oh, God, I wish you knew. Let me tell you, I don't know why you should be worried. I'm the one who should be worried. Baby, you could just give me the go ahead. I want to get married to you. That's all. Listen, stop worrying, okay? I'm convinced you don't have the uh, HIV. Let me tell you, my lover's gonna reverse all of this. Because by the time I take you to the United States, even if they think that it's positive, and you go through blood transfusion, I know it's gonna cost me millions of naira and all that. But I'm willing to prove my love for you, baby. I swear to God. And I tell you, after that, it'll be alright. Come on, baby, it's all right. Hmm? Let's go, right? Cheer up, baby. Lively up your soul, man. Come on. Jenny. Yeah, very smooth. Dad. And um, how is business? Very smooth too. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> oh, God, man. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Thanks for that hot. <laughs> By the way, how come Richard didn't come to pick you? I didn't see him. So when I put a call across to him, he said he was with some friends. So, so I got to find myself on this text. Richard.
Eddie, how are you? Just the way you left me. Eddie, I am so sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. Really, I am. I acted that way because um, I love you. But I felt a deep stab in my heart. I give you my heart. All of it. All my love. I never held anything behind you. But I never knew you had your own plan. If not, you wouldn't have kept the lady that had a baby for you and the woman that gave you the AIDS virus. Sylvia, just hear me out. I'm saying this because of God. I can swear by anything, anything. One, God knows that I know nothing about any woman. Any girl. Sylvia, this is a setup. Can't you see that somebody is after my life? Somebody is after us. Eddie, I expected you to tell me the truth and tell me that you're sorry. But you're denying it. And God knows I hate you for that. Honestly, I do. You want to leave me, isn't it? Hmm? Anyway, you have already left me. After all, of what use is a dying man like me? Go ahead, move on with your life. Son, the virus will eat me up. And I will die. So? Just move on. But let me tell you something that you put in your heart as you go on with your life. Because it's obvious that I'm going to die. God knows that I'm innocent of all these allegations that you're laying against me. Only Jehovah can bear me witness. Go on. Um, anyway, Eddie, you've said it all. I have to move on with my life. But Eddie, you betrayed me. You betrayed the love we shared together. But thank God um, someone has repaired my heart. I'm taking it as well. Anyway, um, I just want to let you know that I'll be getting married soon. Yeah. Hello, honey. Hi. So, um, he is my husband to be. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. Um, you know, it's unfortunate. But um, all you need to do is take heart, all right? <laughs> One of those things. At long last, Richard. Congratulations, Richard. And so you, I wish you happiness. But don't forget what I told you. As you go on in your life, only God can be a witness. Thank you. Um, see you soon. Come on, let's go. What did I do to deserve all these things? What did I do to deserve this? God. Suffering for something I do not know about. My own Sylvia, the girl I fought for and never died for. Hey! 
There's nothing left. I'm going to die after all. From HIV to AIDS. Oh God, only you know. Only you can be. <laughs> no, I won't cry. There's no need to cry. There's no need. Oh. Just take my life, take my life, let me just die. If I lose Sylvia, what else do I want? Just inject me with something and let me die. Let me go home and die. You can see that back to my back. Edwin, I'm telling you to hang on to life. Eh? Believe me, we are working on something to help you to bounce back to life. Very soon. Let me ask you a question, Doctor. Please do. Has there been anybody who survived of AIDS? Um, medically, we are, we are working on something. Eh?
This gotcha is too much for me. I want to die. Let me die. Let me just die. I want to die. See where it's gone. Let me just. Richard. Richard! Yes, Dad. You are indeed very queer. Can you imagine? Of all the beautiful girls in this city, you opted for this one that has been rumored to be HIV positive. What has come over you? Well, that's the problem. That is the problem. Rumors, rumors, rumors. But do you know that rumors have actually destroyed more lives than the AIDS virus? Do you know that? Huh? We are not acting on rumors, Richard. It is a fact that that girl's boyfriend or fiancé is HIV positive. And it's at the point of death in the hospital. So the possibility is there that she too has the virus, Richard! She does not have it, ma'am. She doesn't! Ricky, there's no point in getting yourself worked up. You know, the way I do that, we are one family and one blood. I know that every one of us is going to die someday. But none of us should die dishonorably. If Sylvia, as they say, has this virus, she will definitely, I mean, most definitely going to transfer the same virus to you. And that is what we are fighting against, please. Oh, please, Chris. What kind of fight is that? Damn, you amaze me, man. But after... You know, you could reason and think like the Rinko Masters, but ain't you supposed to be from Japan? Let me tell you, I gave you a lowdown, the real situation, and that is that she is F-R-E-E, -E, free, period. Damn. Richard, I'd like to remind you that there is a big stigma associated with HIV AIDS. And I, Chief Diobu, will not sit down here and watch you drag the name of taking so much to build in the mud because you want to marry what stupid idiot? Not in my lifetime. Oh, yeah? Well, I have listened to what all of you have to say. You can continue and say whatever you want to say. But the most important thing and the only thing that counts is my life. And none of you or anybody on this earth can stop me from getting married to Sylvia. As simple as A, B to the beautiful Z. And then if you want me to drop off your name, I'll drop it off in the garbage right now. Hey, Richard! Indeed. He who the gods want to destroy the first may go mad. Thank God I have a worthy son in Christopher. You can as well go to hell. Daddy, please. Just take it easy. What kind of son is this? <laughs> take it easy with him. Please. And you are not one that is going to tell you. Please, Dad. Nonsense. Please. Just take it easy. You have to come down, please. <laughs> Please. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, please. Hola. Pay him Asking me if you can help me, Ebola me. Anyway, where is my balance? 
What balance? What balance are you talking about? Sir? What balance? I said my balance before I tell you to please. Look, please. look, look, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. Just leave me alone. You're embarrassing me. Me, yes. yes. Embarrassing, embarrassing you. You're embarrassing me. I did a job for you, you and yet you, you disappear with my balance and here you are telling me rubbish. Listen, come. Listen, listen, listen. I resemble these small girls for you. Okay? Eh? Come now. Come, come. Leave me alone. Listen, look at me. Why do you uh -huh. feel like this? Leave me alone. See, my girlfriend should be inside. Uh -huh. How do I want to consign me? Come, let's go for you and settle with me. Hey, leave me alone. Hey, come, now, why are you do like this? Why are you do like this? Uh -huh. Come, let's leave this place. Now. She'll come at any time and meet us here. I don't like all this. Huh? I come thought now. you wanted to be smart before. So you know how this will be. Now, come. Now. Ah, why do you do like this? I now? beg. See, now me and you for this time. You won't face my one. Okay? Okay? You go see if you fall in your life. You don't go ever near me. If you stop all this. It's not if I don't have the money. I have the money to eat. Eh? Eh? But I don't like the way you just attacked me. I beg, I beg. Take a music, eh? Take a music. I don't just like the way you bashed in on me. I, I don't just like you. Just give me my money. Eh? Your money. I'll give you your money. Is it not 10,000 now? I'll give you your money. So, just give me. I will give you your money. Eh, let me have it and stop making noise. Just hold on. I'll give you your money. Because of 10,000 now, you came in here, wanted to embarrass their light out of me. Now, what for you if you? I'm not going to believe if you do me like this. Give me your money. Take, take. Give me. Nonsense. Come. It is my big house. I'm an OND holder. If I had a job, do you think I would have gotten myself involved in such a deal? Look. Next time, kind of think before you joke with people. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just that I've not been in town for some time. Go away, my friend, and spare me that line. For you. Oh wow. Well, I met an old schoolmate of mine. She just met me and embarrassed the daylight out of me. How? Uh, I, I know she's not mentally balanced, but I discharged her with some money. Not mentally, okay. Uh, yes. I wonder how she managed to recognize me, but thank God I had some money with me. Let's just go in. Sorry, let's go. Don't worry, I'm true already. Let's just okay. try and get a text. So we'll, we'll get the text. This is a check of two million naira. The money paid into my account. I've not touched it. Richard, I've had enough. I can't take this touch anymore. Take it. Hey, Doc. Why are you losing your nerves, man? After the deal is finally pulled through. And Sylvia's also agreed to marry me. Huh? Hmm? Richard. Edwin is a gunner. He's dying. A soul that I'm trained to save is dying because of a wicked ploy that I'm part of. I see him in pains every day. He can't even take his medications anymore. He has even asked for mercy killing. Do you know the psychological trauma that I'm going through, you devil incarnate? Oh. Will you please, doc? You're supposed to be a doctor, have some self-control. Now listen, Sylvia and I have agreed to go get married in the courts next week, and we're leaving for the United States after that, all right? If you want, you can go to Edwin and tell Edwin that he is HIV negative. Do you get it? Edwin, we died before next week, Richard. Oh. Eh? And I don't want to see him die. Look, I'm resigning my appointment at that hospital, and I'm leaving the town. Whichever way you sort yourself out, that is your business. I don't care about anything anymore. You can even tell the police that I had a hand in the Pinabos' death. I don't care anymore.
but to stay and continue in this wicked act? No way! Ready to leave now. No Everything has been sorted out, and I didn't have problem in cashing the check. <laughs> Doctor Ken, you know you can always trust me anytime. <laughs> That's good. The house is now yours. Okay. Hmm? You can say I have only these things to play along with. That's all right by me, no problem. I'm okay. Here is the key. Huh? Yeah. So. You are in charge. I got to plan along right away. Problem. Mr. Patrick, take good care of yourself. And you too. Sir so Johnny, huh? So long, I got to miss okay. my plan. Let me rock now. See you to the door. Uh, James! No problem, I'll take care of you. What are you talking about? My friend, where is the doctor? The doctor just traveled a while ago. Out of the country. Come on, Joe! If I found out you're lying to me. I, I, I can't lie. Joe! Such a dude. I was kidding you alive. I, I, I can't. Come on, come on, come on. Of it. I saw it starts everywhere. Yes. If I find out you're lying to me. Shut up! Let's go. I didn't see him, sir. Where did he go? We met a guy in there. Yeah? He says he's on his way out of the country. What? Damn. Now listen. I want you to go everywhere. You go to the market. You go to the shops. You go to the airport. Everywhere. You just find him. I want him. And listen, man. Don't harm him. 
Yes, sir. Come on him alive. Move it. Sometimes I wonder what is left Could it be a blessing or a curse? If love is given, why so much hurt? Why everything go wrong? Love, you make me want to cry Oh I can't wait to see my Range Rover jeans. Honestly, I can't wait. Do you know the amazing thing? Guess. No, you told me. I am having my honeymoon in Spain. <laughs> Happy for you. What should I do? I really You're want to do something. You're not doing anything for now. Let's just go to my house. This is number 10. Yes. Because I'm looking for one Miss Sylvia. Okay. What do we have there? My dear Savior, the content of this letter will joy to you. You are going to call me names, I'm sure. I pray you forgive me after. Edwin is not HIV positive. The result was fate. Richard must have ended everything. He wanted you by all means, so he blackmailed me into faking the result so that you will leave Edwin. I'm so sorry. I had no choice because he knew something about me that would send me to jail if I refused. I've left the hospital. Go there now and save it room before it gets too late. I hereby enclose a copy of the test he did. Oh my god, what is it? Can you imagine? A twin is not positive. <laughs> must have been stage managed. Oh God, and I'm going to the hospital. God! Ah! Oh God, Richard. I've always said it. There is something strange about this guy. Searching for it everywhere since Dr. Ken resigned. Who is there? Don't you know Edwin? The patient is in whatever now. Oh, that poor fellow. I learned he has stopped taking medication since. Can you imagine? He has also refused eating since yesterday. He said he's fed up with life and uh, he has even asked for mercy killing. Then let's discharge him now so that he will go home and die peacefully. That's why I'm looking for his file now. The medical director needs to see before discharging him. Have you seen him today? No. Call 
Somebody talk to Yes, yes, please, my brother. Please. It's very urgent. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be in the office very soon. Please. Yes. Uh, please wait for me. I, I will explain further when I get there. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> Bola, don't worry. I've just called a friend of mine, an ASP. The police won't touch you. All I need you to do is to give evidence against Richard to substantiate the content of this letter. Is that clear? Auntie, I'm very, very sorry. I don't know what pushed me into conniving with Richard. I shouldn't have done it. Oh my God. Oh, Bola. Ah. Now that you have freed your mind, you are free. Indeed. Richard. I will show you how connected I am. Bella, we'll soon be going to the station. Oh my god! Ah! Yeah. Hey, my man. Paulo <laughs> Sapinto. Oh, yeah. It went well. It all went almost perfect. Yeah. We just have our, the church wedding is coming up in four days left. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No problem at all. Yeah. All right, then I'll get back to you later. Okay, bye. Paolo <laughs> Sapiento. Hello, baby. Yeah, um... I just wanted to invite you over, you know, for a drink in the garden. Yeah. What, anything the matter? Come on, tell me, what's wrong? You want me to come over right away? All right, um, well, you give him a few minutes, okay, I'll be with you, okay? All right, why?
Have you seen Edwin? How is he? Have you seen him? What are these officers doing here? A young lady, is she your aunt? Madam, I'm Inspector Edward from Ireland Station. Yeah. A young man, Edwin by name, has committed suicide at the St. Anthony Hospital. Oh my God! Oh my God! Edwin! Suicide? Edwin is dead? Oh! God, I will never forgive Richard. I will never forgive him. Uh, madam, as I was saying, the police was contacted and we acted promptly. The cops have been taken away by my colleagues. This young lady here says uh, there is a letter that says something about the young man's death. That is why we are here. Yes, I have the letter here. Where's the letter? All right. Officer, this lady here has a piece of information that might interest you. I see. What kind of information is that? Hey, what's going on here? Honey, what's this? Mother, I you! I hate you! Mother, I you killed him! You killed him! Wait, wait, wait! 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 Wait, you have done a smart one, Mr. Loverman. What's going on here, honey? What did I do? The lady that came back from Europe and the one that supposedly had a child for Edwin was framed up by you and the Bala. What? Bola? You? Bola? What are you talking about here, man? I don't understand what you mean. Will you shut up your mouth? Come on. I'll shut Let this man alone for God's sake. What is God saying? Look, I'm a gentleman. Why are you doing this to me? Officer, this is assault. Arrest them. Gentlemen, I am convinced that you are Mr. Richard Diobu. I'm afraid you have to come to the station for a charge. What, what, what charge? I mean, wait, let's charge here, man. I said you have to come to the station. Are you deaf? Listen, I know my rights, man. What are you talking about? Come on, arrest him. He's talking about rights. Yeah, wait, arrest listen, him. Wait, wait man. Hang on, listen, I know my rights, man. What are you doing? Officer, take him away. Man. Don't touch me like that. Shut up, shut up. No, no, come with us. Move it. I said, no. Move it. Move it. I hate you Sometimes I wonder what is left Could it be a blessing or a curse If love is given, why so much hurt?